What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2014 Ford F350 with the 6.7 turbo diesel and well the code or actually we don't have a code in this truck so what actually is happening is we have this uh, message right here on the dashboard it says that the truck has been limited to 50 miles per hour and it will decrease uh, as you drive the truck so as you can see here it's also beeping so here we have the scanner uh, I already hooked up uh, the scanner and I did a scanning of the whole system usually when you have that message uh, it's because the uh, sorry because of the the fluid is low but they actually filled it up and they still have the same message so as you can see here I'm scanning the whole truck and I don't have any code on any module so what this means is that we have to do a special procedure so we don't have any check engine or anything like that but we uh, somebody work on the dev system on this truck so we need to get out of this uh, message they call it the idle uh, nightmare on these trucks because it limits you to 50 miles per hour and you cannot even accelerate when you have it in drive so what we need to do is we need to bring the truck to temperature I was reading a uh, a sheet uh, a technical sheet from from the dealership you can find that information online on how to reset this uh, problem right here you have to follow that uh, procedure so we have here the reductant tank which is the def uh, the ammonia that you put in in the tank it's full and it says over half full so we need to, what we need to do um we need to bring the uh, temperature sensors to about 325 Fahrenheit in Celsius it will be about 220 so we need to bring the temperature up after that we're gonna let the truck sit for a while and then we're gonna take it for a drive um, I'm gonna see if I can print out the uh, the procedure and uh, I'll put the link in the description where you can download it so what we're gonna do we're gonna bring this uh, to temperature so I'm gonna pause the video and uh, I'll come back when when I get the uh, the sensors to temperature all right I'll see you so we are about 300 Fahrenheit right now we need to bring this truck to about 425 probably 430 uh, all these three must be around that temperature and you see here the injection the injection for the reductant it's beginning to inject some reductant into the DPF so once we get to about 300 I mean 420 we're gonna shut the truck off and we're gonna wait two minutes and we're gonna monitor this data we need to see this uh, uh, injection reductant uh, keep working for about five minutes um, that's what the manual says on the uh, on the sheet so we're gonna wait two minutes after that and then shut the truck off I mean with the truck off two minutes we're gonna start it up again and after 30 seconds we must see the uh, injector injecting for about five minutes after that we need to drive the truck and give uh, wide open accelerations that should go when we need to go to about five miles per hour per hour or so we need to do that uh, at least eight times for the light to go off and then idle keep the and then come back and park the truck and leave it in idle for a while so um, I hope this comes uh, good because it takes a lot of time to bring this truck to temperature I've been uh, holding my foot for about 10 minutes and it's, it's tiring so uh, I'm gonna keep doing this procedure and see what comes out so as you can see we're almost hitting 437 so I'm gonna hold it a little bit more and I have it at 3,000 RPMs. As you can see, I've spent like 30 minutes already here. So I'm gonna just wait for the uh, uh, EGT 1.4 to hit about 440. And then we're gonna shut the truck off and we're gonna wait two minutes and then restart it. And we should see the injector uh, for the dev injecting for about 30 seconds non-stop. So yeah, let me just wait a little bit. As we can see here, we already hit 440. 
on all of them so I'm just gonna give it a little bit more and then we're gonna shut down the, the truck so let me just wait a little bit more and I see the injector almost goes to a 70% duty cycle which is almost wide open 66% so we're gonna hit 450 right now and I think that's enough so we're gonna let the gas off and we're gonna shut the truck off and we're gonna wait for two minutes so it's 229.30 so about 231 I'm gonna come back all right okay so we are already three minutes out so we're gonna restart the truck we're gonna press OK. I'm gonna see if the uh, the reductant the reductant due to cycle. We should see it. So we see here it's a 99.6 percent. So we need to monitor that for 30 seconds. So apparently it did it. So right now what I have to do, um, I need to drive the truck. I'm gonna give uh, wide open accelerations and hopefully we get this truck uh, ready. So you can see we still have the message. So I believe the 30 seconds for the, like I said, for the reductant was already done. It was a 90% and I started recording a little bit late, but I caught some, some movement there. So we're gonna do uh, this procedure now. We're gonna accelerate. Let me make sure I don't have anything on the way. And it's just, film here and let's just go over here so let me just go over here see if I can do some heavy accelerations here and there we go let me see if I can bring up the gauge for the uh, for the for the speed let me see here and no, I cannot bring it. Well, so I need to go over here again. So I'm gonna give some uh, accelerations. I'm gonna come back because it's kind of hard to film and drive at the same time. It's kind of dangerous. So let me just do this really quick and I'll come back if I got it done, All right? And also, after that, we need to leave the truck idling for 30 minutes. So, I'll be back. Alright, so now we're going to leave the truck uh, idling for about 30 minutes. So, let me just uh, see here, engine runtime. So, we have about 5 minutes here. So, we're going to come back on, when we have 30 minutes here on the clock. Alright? So I'll be back and if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna repeat the uh, the acceleration process. So 30 minutes have been done and we'll still have the message. So I'm gonna try and do the procedure again. I'm gonna accelerate and do the same process again. Hopefully we get this uh, clear. All right, so I hope it doesn't take that long. So let me just go back again to the road and start doing the same process again. So as you can see, the light's gone after driving the truck. So we have the light clear. I guess so this will be pretty much the end of the video. So as you can see here, we don't have the message again. Let me just turn on the truck. And usually it will pop right up. So we only have the low pressure, but we don't have the message anymore. It used to be right here, so. I will call this a problem fix. So this is how you reset the, uh, the that annoying light for this truck, 2014 and up. I believe it starts from 2013 and also the new trucks, they well, pretty much they will use the, the same procedure. Well, anyways, so thank you so much guys for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment down below, turn notifications on so you can be updated with every video I upload every week. And again, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. JB Fix Up. Bye. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette.